But Jason, I, I actually want to ask you about uh, these comments by your colleague Trent Zimmerman that yep. we should move towards a, a net zero emissions target by 2050. Is this something that you're pushing for? Well, look, I, I, the thing that I'm really pushing for is a roadmap so that Australians of all um, shapes and sizes roadmap and colours, to, roadmap, to, roadmap to, to 2050, to to how you get to net zero, what, whatever our emissions are in 2050, how do we get there, what the costs and benefits of doing but that are. But are you aiming to get to net zero Look, I'd like to, 2050? I'd like to get to net zero before that if we can. The question is, what are the costs and what are the plans that you need to have in place to do that? Now, if you speak to people like... Um, Mike Cannon-Brooks, he will say to you that technology is developing so quickly that 2050 isn't ambitious enough. If you talk to people like Matt Canavan, he will say to you, if you just look at the sheer um, facts and numbers on the table, 2050 is looking very, very difficult. I think he used a different word than that. Um, but look, it's fantastical. what is important, fantastical, is it's but, but is, almost is, is like a... But is this something that you Whatever and the other hell moderate liberals are, yes. are, are moving towards? Sorry, is what this was something that? that you and moderate liberals will take up with the prime minister? Well, I think modern liberals are arguing within the party did you that we changed moderate to moderate. Indeed, moderate. I did. <laughs> right. Picked up on that. But is, is this something you are going to take to the prime minister? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I don't think it should just be um, one group of liberal MPs. I think every member of parliament should be saying we need to have plans in place. We need to put them down on paper to so the to, community to get to net zero emissions by 2050. If that is what well, we're committed to, the Paris Agreement, which says that we need to get to net zero in the second half of this century. So that's the thing that the government is definitely committed to. And as I say, we'd like to get there soon. Sarah, what's your target? Well, look, we know, of course, that we have to listen to what the science is saying. And the scientists are saying uh, the Paris uh, target of keeping um, temperatures below two degrees um, is going um, it's going to take a lot of effort. We need to be putting that um, effort in now. Um, but we're worried, of course, that even two degrees uh, is still going to make things very tough. And we've already had temperature rise of one degree. And look what happened um, this summer uh, here in Australia. And we've just talked about that a little bit.